Would it really be Hypixel Skyblock without spending a lot of stuff to get a marginal stat increase? Well, in this video, we're going to go over the best new Heart of the Mountain tree after the 0.15 update because there's a new one that I think is really, really good and not many people are talking about it. So if that sounds interesting, stick around in the video. But before we get to that, this video is sponsored by Yahaha Studios. Yahaha is a brand new user generated content platform for 3D multiplayer interactive experiences. Literally anyone can create and publish their virtual experience. Yeah anyone. You don't need any coding experience because you can just build the creation without any of that knowledge. They have components, assets, literally everything you need is in Yahaha Studio to make your dream games. Yahaha also has multiplayer. You can play and invite friends to hang out with them. You can also go and meet new friends at any time because there are countless immersive 3D spaces and like-minded communities. So if you're interested in making your dream game, go click the link in the description and join Yahaha's early access now for free. Thanks again to Yahaha for sponsoring the video and now let's talk about my favorite Heart of the Mountain tree right now. In the 0.15 update, they actually did something kind of major to the skill and that's that they added two more perks basically in the peak of the mountain spot. The peak of the mountain used to just go up to five whenever you hit bottom five, you unlock peak of the mountain five and you get a bunch of stuff, but they added two more now and these two more are pretty nuts. One of them is just gonna give two gemstone powder when mining gemstones, so it's just gonna make it a little bit more viable whenever you're mining those. But the other one is giving you an extra token of the mountain. They also added a new token of the mountain that you unlock at level seven. So overall, they added two new tokens of the mountain, meaning that you can mix up your perks a little more. Now I wanna clarify, I'm not a gemstone scientist here. I'm a ruby router. I enjoy mining ruby. There are definitely armadillo miners who will have a different tree than what I'm doing. But I love this tree that I'm about to show you because it makes you mine ruby faster. And especially if you're more of an early game Heart of the Mountain 7 who still sweats out this tree, then you're going to have some fun because it's going to make your speed jump up by a lot, no matter what level you're at. So let's look at my suggested Heart of the Mountain tree. You can already kind of see how wacky it gets. Obviously, the bottom, you just go up the left side. Mining speed boost is unmatched. It's super good. But when we look at the top, you can see I do some weird stuff. So I take Mining Madness and I go up, unlock Mining Speed 2, Mining Fortune 2. These are obvious things that you need for mining gemstones. But then I go down because now you can finally unlock a perk that I've wanted to use forever, and that is precision mining. This is going to make it so whenever you mine an ore, a particle is going to appear and you're going to get 30% more mining speed when you aim at this particle. Another perk that's also helpful when going down is front loaded. Front loaded, I believe, is still bugged where if you disable it, you literally just get a free 100 speed and mining fortune, no questions asked, and it's just nice. So this is something that you're unlocking on the way to precision mining, and it's just going to be pretty swag. Star powder is useless. This is just something you have to get because you want to unlock these two. But yeah, this is going to be my recommended tree. It looks super wacky because you're going up and then just going down at a random spot. But trust me, it's pretty solid. To show why this tree is going to be really good, I have a gemstone gauntlet that literally doesn't have efficiency on it and I'm not wearing armor just because I want to have a low mining speed to kind of show you how good it really is. The higher the speed you have, the less effective precision mining is actually going to be, but I believe at most levels it is at least taking off one tick on your speed where you're going to be mining your block just a tiny bit faster because 30% more speed is nothing to scoff at. But I'm just going to show it at a lower speed because the lower the speed you have, the more effective this is going to be. Going up to a block and clicking on it a bunch, you're going to see it just shows a little particle on it, kind of like the particles for the chests that you have to look at in the Crystal Hollows. And we're just going to start mining. So you're going to see without the looking at the particle, I'm mining decently fast. You know, I don't have the worst stuff. But then when I do look at this particle, it is definitely substantially faster. It definitely makes your mining have to be a little more active. I hope that a mod developer can make a mod where this gets like lit up a little bit like the chest mods do, because that makes it at least a little easier to look for the particle with some texture packs. But this is still just something that is going to be really, really nice 
and it is going to increase a lot of your speeds. I definitely do think that you guys should unlock the Peak of the Mountain level 7 because seriously, it's going to give you more powder whenever you're mining the gemstones, which just means you're going to gain more power over time. And I mean, why wouldn't you want to be max? Get, get that max Peak of the Mountain. Get the extra token of the mountain so you can get precision mining. It's just going to be fun. I was mining at my ruby coordinates with this strategy, just using this new setup. And keep in mind, I'm missing like 525 speed from my Heart of the Mountain perks. And I'm also not using a blue cheese omelet, so I am missing out on a couple things there. And I was still on track to make somewhere around 35 million coins in an hour while I was mining with precision mining. I'm not 100% sure how much precision mining I was actually getting because I'm not trying to be super duper active and look at one little pixel on every single block that I'm mining, but it did feel like a good portion of the blocks that I was doing. I was actually getting the effect from precision mining. I'm just glad that this perk is finally in a viable spot because I was always super interested in this perk. When Heart of the Mountain first came out and I was one of the first people to get Heart of the Mountain 5, I was trying to find a tree so bad that made precision mining work. But the left side is just so much better for mithril. And, you know, since it's better for mithril and has some better perks, it's usually used to go up into your gemstone stuff. But finally, you can maybe unlock this. I'm sure people will make the argument that you should unlock Sky Mall instead. That could totally be true. It could totally be more worth. I just think precision mining, it's fun. It's pretty good, especially if you're at lower levels of speed. And I mean, come on, it's you get to play Fortnite in Minecraft. You got the Fortnite weak points. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this Heart of the Mountain tree down below. It's definitely an interesting one. I'm sure I'm going to get flamed and say that I'm completely wrong on what I think is the best. But with these new tokens, it's definitely my favorite tree to go with. So that's going to be it for the video. Hope it kept you informed. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace out.